Hello YouTubers. In this video, we're going to be covering replacing the heater control valve in my 2008 BMW X5. The issue that I'm having is I've got hot air and cold air blowing out all over the vents, top and bottom, and out the dash. So this heater control valve is what's supposed to be the part that's causing the problem, so we're going to be replacing it in this video. So YouTubers, these are the tools you're going to need quarter inch ratchet, a couple of extensions, and a six millimeter. My car took a six millimeter for the worm gear, but yours may take a quarter inch, depends on the worm gear, but that's what it was. I did not want to use a screwdriver because bearing down on hoses like that, I don't want to poke anything or punch or anything. So anyway, I use this. Okay, YouTubers, before we get going, let's cover where is this part. So the part is in the front, obviously. And it's on the right side, driver side of the car. And it's against the right side of the engine, or to the right of the engine. Right there is the part. So you see what we're trying to get. Here are the pins that will go inside the rubber grommet that seat the thing. And there's our electrical connection right there. So that's the part we're after. Let's start the project. So I have already pulled it out of its mating spot. You can see this plastic connected to the metal there, the cylinder. This piece of plastic here sits in this rubber grommet down below it. And I've already picked it up. That way I've got some maneuverability on the device. Again, I'll show you the picture showing you how it sits in there. So I just wanted to point out these pins that you see facing you here at the left and right side. Those are the pins that fit inside the rubber grommet. Also down at the bottom below the numbers there, you see a piece of plastic with some ridges on it that are facing towards you as well. Those fit in another rubber grommet against the body. So that's kind of what holds the top and the bottom of this thing in a rigid state. It sits in these rubber grommets. And I'm gonna disconnect the wire, undo these worm gears, and transfer them over to the new device. So, okay. So what I'm showing you here is, there's the first worm gear. Right there. So that's as I'm looking at it this side here. And we're gonna have two coming out this side. So the other side of the worm gear, or the top one, is the one you see right there that's the worm gear and unfortunately the bottom worm gear way down in there is facing the other direction i don't know if you can if the thing will focus but the one worm gear faces me. The other worm gear faces down. So, this is gonna be fun. Looks like I'm gonna have to take out the bottom tray. We're not gonna be able to get to it from the bottom. There's just too much stuff in the way down there. There's no clear way to get up through there, not even with all the extensions in the world. It's not going to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo, undo this worm gear first. Take that hose off. I'll probably clamp it further back with a pair of vice grips just to keep whatever from draining out of the system. And then I'll do the top one. The one that you can't see any longer. That one. I'll undo that one there because it's reachable. And then I'll what I'll end up having to do is bend this hose back, the one remaining one, back to an angle to where I can get it 
with either a screwdriver or a six millimeter ratchet. Anyway, so let's take the first one off, bend it back and see what we got. Here's the unit tilted on his side. And what I'm gonna do is tilt it further on his side. Oops. And thereby exposing the last worm gear. So let me undo that last worm gear and we'll uh, swap it out with the new device and tighten that worm gear back down. No rocket science, I can't record this one handed, so I'm just gonna undo it, pop in the new one, tighten that worm gear back down and then reverse engineer everything back. So this is the old unit out. I'm not seeing any markings from the manufacturer. Let's see if the Bosch has any markings. Yeah, the Bosch has markings. So this is probably some generic knockoff, probably from Amazon. Anyway, now I need to reverse the process and put it back. Okay, so I uh, ended up moving the worm gear this direction. That way, next time it comes off, you can lift it off and you can get to that bottom worm gear without having to appear to go through the bottom of the car. So, I'm not sure why the previous person did it that way, but we're going to do it the right way. All right, so next we're going to bring this one back around and pop it in place. Oops, we're leaking. Anyway, hard to do one-handed. Let me uh, knock that out. Okay, the part's back in. You can see the worm gear on that one. And we pull this back. Well, if this thing weren't already back in its grommets, rubber grommets, you would see that we could get to the other worm gear on the bottom. This worm gear is right there. So I think we're ready to put back on the intake. So I took that off and test for leaks. Let me get it back together. So got the car going. I've been checking the fluids. But I thought I'd come in here with my fancy fancy Weber thermometer. I don't have one of those radar guns that point at it. So if you've seen my other videos, you know this is what I use. Let's see what we got. Again, my issue was hot and cold on the other side and sometimes bottom of the vent the top of the vent it's really weird I, I don't I don't know 53 
funny, it doesn't feel cooler than the bottom, or than the top one. 58. Sense is that it's cooling to 58. Good. Well, the car's been running, like I may have not mentioned. Been running now for several minutes. I've been checking leaks. Everything's nice and tight and dry. And again, the problem was just warm air, cold air, warm air, cold air. Warmer, cooler, it was just all over the place. But now we seem to have a good sense. We're under 60 degrees everywhere in the car. And uh, yeah, I hope that fixes it. Feels like it fixed it. It's definitely cooler everywhere, whereas before you could feel the heat coming out of the system. So YouTubers, if you like the video, like the video.